I think this one's sealed with super glue. <gasps> <laughs> going on everybody welcome back to another pokemon video today we are opening up a battle styles elite trainer box which i'm so excited to do because we haven't opened up any battle styles on this channel yet it's been a hot minute i know i'm late to the game we got freaking chilling rain about to come out already and i'm just now opening up battle styles uh but i have actually been opening up some battle styles um, not on camera. My girlfriend and I love to open up packs on the side. So I actually do have like a decent collection of battle styles going. I think I already have a uh, full art trainer and a Tapacoco rainbow rare. Of course, that's the one I would pull. But there actually are some awesome cards in this set. And uh, that's why I'm excited to open up this elite trainer box right now. All right, so once you open this thing up, you just slide to the right, slide to the left. There's some pretty cool artwork in here of the uh, mascots, Urshifu, Tyranitar, uh, Empoleon, and the other Urshifu. So we're gonna set that off to the side. Obviously, you get the cool battle styles booklet. It's got the whole checklist of the cards in here, how to play, stuff like that. We're gonna set that off to the side. What we are here for are the contents of the Elite Trainer. More specifically, we are here for the eight packs that come inside. You get a couple of other goodies, uh, including another booklet with the rules. Can't get enough of the rules. I guess that's for people that don't know how to play. We've got the damage counters. We've got the sleeves, which I actually get pretty good use out of. I use the sleeves in the Elite Trainer boxes quite often. Uh, not so much the energies and not so much the old dice. Although I do really like the color of these ones. It's a nice like royal blue. You also get a code card, it's for you guys. And you actually get these nice deck dividers. I do use these sometimes uh, when I'm sorting like my commons and uncommons and just kind of keeping my bulk. I use that to separate the sets. Battle Styles actually has another Elite Trainer box. It's a red one. Uh, I actually kind of prefer the blue. There's no real difference other than the color of the sleeves that you get. Uh, there's no promo in this Elite Trainer box, unlike uh, Champion's Path and Shining Fates, I think, had a promo because those were special sets. This is just a regular set. Sorry, Battle Styles. I guess you're not that special. Just kidding. There are some really cool cards inside Battle Styles, and uh, I think we should crack into those right now. All right, so as I mentioned before, I have pulled some decent stuff out of Battle Styles. Um, some stuff that I haven't pulled yet that I would actually really like to see today are the uh, Full Art Flapple. I absolutely love Flapple. I don't know why, but he's just about my favorite Pokemon in uh, the new Sword and Shield stuff as we're knocking the camera everywhere. Uh, been a month or two since I recorded a video, getting rusty. Um, but Full Art Flapple would be nice. I love that Pokemon. I also love the uh, Full Art Mimikyu. I don't know why. I really like that Pokemon too. I think it's pretty cool. Um, absolutely, I would take any of the alternate artworks. I haven't pulled any of those yet. And uh, other than that, just some nice full arts and stuff like that. We are starting things off with a reverse rare Luxray and a regular rare Licky Licky. So nothing in that pack. I've heard that the pull rates are really bad for battle styles for some reason. I don't know why that is. I mean, my best guess is that this is the first set in a hot minute uh, without uh, the amazing rares. And there's also obviously no shiny cards in this set. So green code cards mean you're getting absolutely nothing. And it's really just the Vs, hollows, and full arts that you're looking for. So I guess less pulls, less things to pull mean uh, worse pull rates. That's probably what I'm thinking. Spiro, Pachirisu, Cherubi, Weeping Bell, and a regular rare Drampa. So we're going 0 for 2 so far. I've actually had pretty good luck with Battle Styles. Um, when I actually do find cards at the store, I usually just pick up like a nice stack of uh, single packs. And I've been getting like white code cards in like every other pack. I don't know if I just got lucky the couple of times I picked up cards uh, or what, but 
I'm actually pretty excited. It makes me super excited to do my Battle Styles binder. I haven't started on that yet. I will definitely do a video on that. Uh, but we got a Frillish, Houndor, Scatterbug, Honage. We got a Gligar, a Bruxish. Bruxish. I don't know, that one always tricks me up. And a regular rare Victory Bell. So nothing yet. Three packs down. Nothing that's tickling my fancy quite yet, guys. We only got five packs left. Um, that being said, I've had really good luck with Battle Styles so far. But I don't think I've ever had very good luck with Elite Trainer Boxes. I don't know what it is. I I've seen people like open fire Elite Trainer Boxes. And then the, the ones I have have like two hollows if I'm lucky or one hollow and one V card. All right, let's see if we can turn that luck around though. We still have over half the packs to go. Lightning Energy, Perugly, Honchcrow, Seedra, Electabuzz, Bellsprout, Bronzor, Murkrow, Horsey, Cacturn, and all right, we got a hollow Colossal. I think I do already have the Colossal, but uh, things are starting to heat up. We're gonna go ahead and make use of our sleeves. That's right, we do sleeve our hollows up in here. Again, these are those matte sleeves that they had with Shining Fates. Not the biggest fan, it kinda just takes away the shine, I think. I, I don't know, I, I really love the feel of this side and not so much this side. I wish they would do matte on this side and like the clear, uh, glossy front. But let's see if we can do a little bit better uh, I am late to opening up Battle Styles on the channel. We've already got a new set, Chilling Rain, coming out in about a month's time from now. And I, I don't even, there's no way I'm going to collect the whole Battle Styles by then. I'll probably have like 80% of it or something like that. But if you guys didn't know, in addition to Chilling Rain coming out in a month, they just announced, I think yesterday or today, that we are getting another set after that in August called Evolving Skies. Lickitung, Zubat, Yamper, and a regular rare Galarian Mr. Rhyme. All right, that's okay. I have faith in these last three packs. And I think Empoleon's gonna have the goods, so we're gonna set him off for the last pack. But yeah, we don't really know much about Evolving Skies. I think Rayquaza is the mascot, so I can pretty much guarantee there's gonna be like a Rayquaza V but that's all we know so far. Uh, I honestly, like, it is really exciting that they're coming out with a new set, but I almost wish that they would just slow down a little bit. I mean, Chilling Rain hasn't even come out yet, and they've already announced the set after Chilling Rain. It doesn't even come out for another month. Like, I, th I think these sets need some time to breathe. People need some time to find them in stores. You know, Murkrow, Salandit, Bronzor, and... Okay, a Kingdra Hollow. If this is going according to my luck, these two Hollow Poles will probably be all we get, but let's leave our fingers crossed for something else. Yikes. This is probably the uh, gods, you know, returning the favor for all the good luck I've been having with Battle Styles. Oh my goodness. I think this one's sealed with super glue. <gasps> I didn't see anything. Did you guys see anything? There's the code for you guys. Um, wow, that was the hardest pack I think I've ever opened in my life. All these cards are jumbled. We got a Bruxish, Bufalant, Level Ball, Pawniard, Timber, Tepig, Glammeow, Silicobra, another Silicobra, and a regular Rare Lorantis. Oh my gosh, guys, you hunt for Pokemon cards for months without finding anything. You finally find an Elite Trainer box, and the Pokemon gods do you like this? Yee! <laughs> now, in all honesty, though, I have some friends that are super, like, big Pokemon fans, but have stopped collecting because of how hard it is to find packs in the wild now. And then when you do find something and you get absolutely nothing, it's disheartening, but... You gotta keep up the positivity on this channel. If we don't get it this time, the next opening are gonna have the goods. And uh, let's see if my luck or my prediction was correct with that Empoleon pack. We got a Silicobra, Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Mindfu, and our last chance, guys, a regular rare Stonejourner. Maybe the worst Elite Trainer box I've ever opened up in my life. 
Let me know if you guys have actually had good luck with Elite Trainer Boxes. I don't know, I just, I never have. Even my Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box, I only had a couple of pulls from it. I've had way better luck with like tins, um, mini tins, three pack blisters, just buying single packs at the store. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just have a knack for picking out literally the worst Elite Trainer Box is ever known. I'd go through our recap uh, but we had two hollows. <laughs> I take what I take back what I said about the uh, pull rates. Battle Styles has some shitty pull rates. <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Maybe you know that changed your mind on getting an Elite Trainer box. I hadn't planned on getting the red version of this, but maybe I will just to see if we can beat that. I don't know. But then again, with my luck, maybe I won't. Anyways, guys, leave a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.